one of my favourite books was a brilliant book called Huckleberry Finn. And that main character, even though we know he's a hero now, at the time he was seen as an anti-hero because he was not a good role model in a way. Uh, so the people thought. I happen to think he was a brilliant role model because he was a real boy. Uh, but he used to smoke a pipe. He used to swear. He, he went on, the, on a raft. He hated school, skipped out of school, hated church. Uh, and he went down a raft with a slave. Like That was amazing at the time, that someone would be doing this and would be in a book. Because usually all the heroes were like straight up, you know, square jaws, hands on the hips, and they were fighting pirates, and it was fantastic. And I'd never liked those guys as much as I liked Huckleberry Finn, because I felt if I was with Huckleberry Finn, I could hang around with him, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel, uh, I'd just feel just the same as him, it'd be great. Uh, so I've always been interested in the anti-hero, from uh, Huck Finn, to Darth Vader even, uh, to Hannibal Lecter, to Bart Simpson. These are all kind of anti-heroes that you like, for some reason you like them. Uh, and I wanted to write a book where you liked the two sides who were fighting. I thought that would be very interesting, because usually you want this guy to win, but in the Artemis Fowl first book, you want both of them to win. And that keeps you interested right up until the last page. Uh, and so that's, that's the idea, I thought. It was an exercise for me.